Uh, hi, good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to uh, the ARC Forum. Uh, my name is Sid Snitkin. I happen to lead the cybersecurity team at ARC. Uh, and let me just mention, you know, at ARC, we're really thrilled. I believe this is our 23rd forum in Orlando. Uh, we've had forums all over the world, but this happens to be one of ours, so it's a long-standing event. Uh, this cybersecurity workshop we started about eight years ago, having our first one, and I think we had about 25 people here, 25, 30 people, who all came to discuss uh, ISA 99 at the time, I believe it was called. I don't know if it changed since then, but, but you know, and that, and it was just kind of a novel issue. We had a small little interest group. Uh, over the years, this has grown to where today I think we probably have a couple hundred here today. Uh, we've had been having standing room only kind of attendance for the last few years. And we, where we had one little session talking about a standard in the past, today you're going to see we have a whole program at our ARC Forum, probably with a total of about 15, no, about 10 or like 12 sessions on cybersecurity. Uh, now, before I say anything more, let me, I want to mention, as I mentioned, I lead the cybersecurity team, but we have quite a team at ARC. Uh, these are the other analysts at the top, uh, Eric Cosman, Mark Lusiv, and Larry O'Brien. I'm not going to tell you what everybody does because you can look on our app. If you don't have the app, I'm, in, I'm encouraged to encourage you to get the app on your PC or your, your iPad. Uh, and then I just want to thank uh, SANS. We've been partnering with SANS for the last couple of years. Partnering, collaborating, I don't know what the right term is, but we've been working together on research things. They've been supporting our events. We go to their events. We've been working together. So today we have uh, Jeff Scher and Doug Wally here who are going to be helping. You're going to see them during the sessions today. Uh, and now one thing I definitely want to do is to thank all of our sponsors. I believe at our event we probably have when I put this slide together, I thought I, I had, I, I script stuff. I don't read it, but I script it. Uh, I think we had 45 sponsors. I think we probably have more than that now. It kept, we kept getting sponsors, which was wonderful. We're thrilled by that. How many? 50. That's what I thought it was probably hit 50, because I think we sold out. So I would assume we would sell out at a round number. Uh, and on this slide, I in particular want to thank the companies who are cybersecurity clients of ARC. And if you look at that slide, you know, these are all leading companies in industrial cybersecurity, which we talk about, we'll be talking about all day. Uh, along the top, I list all of the automation companies who have been ARC clients for many, many years, uh, and obviously have an active practice in cybersecurity. Yeah, hopefully you can read that. I noticed the Schneider one has a little light. Uh, and then below that are companies that are more specialized in cybersecurity, and you'll see a whole variety of different companies there. You'll be hearing not them speaking, that's not what we do at our events, but you'll certainly be hearing their clients and things like that participating in events. And, and I encourage you very much to go and talk to these people at our expo. But all of these people have booths at our ex exhibition area. Uh, and I highly encourage you to do that. You'll see I'm going to keep encouraging you to do that because I think it's really important, a good chance for you to communicate with them and network. Uh, I mentioned our cybersecurity program. I just want to give you an overview of everything because obviously we want to encourage everyone to go to all of the cybersecurity events. You can't do all of them because we have some in parallel. But this is just a slide. You'll see me mention it a little later. I'll kind of close the session this morning by telling you what topic is, in, is key in which session. But uh, in essence, the session we're in right now is that top one. It just says the state of cybersecurity, which Doug Wiley and I will be doing. Uh, then we break into two tracks. We're going to split it right down here in the middle, apparently. Uh, and on one track, we're going to have a talk about trends in ICS and OT cybersecurity, which is one we've been conducting for years. Uh, and then at the same time, I'm going to be leading a session on IoT cybersecurity or industrial IoT cybersecurity. And then we have a break for lunch. And notice there's two presentations that are going to be in here in track one, so I guess it's this room over here, uh, by two of our companies, two of our clients, Irdetto and AT&T Business. I encourage you to go to those, of course. Uh, but easy, we'll have a break, you can go get your lunch. We have box lunches, bring it in, sit and listen. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we have two tracks, two parallel tracks, and just to frame it for you, the one on the left, which is in track one, which again, I believe is on this side of the room, is more IT-ish type of focus on cybersecurity. 
I'll be moderating a panel on OT, threat detection and response. Uh, and and I, the way I title it is, what's the right solution for you? I think it's a very interesting topic. It's one of the ones I follow a lot. Uh, so there's a lot of solutions and a lot of differences, I think. We'll be talking about that. Uh, then I have another session following that on IT, OT, cybersecurity convergence, which is a very big topic today. And then on the right side, you'll see, this is in the workshop part still, at 2 o'clock, we have, we have, that track is focused more on safety and I would say process control type, not process control, cybersecurity related more from the plant perspective, very OT-ish. Um, the first one is talking about cybersecurity and safety convergence, and then the second one is talking about we have a demo here that Jeff Scherer and Doug Wally will be managing with Larry O'Brien around fake I.O. and how that can be done and what the impact of that can be on your systems. So today we have, I guess that's nine sessions. And then during the forum, I want to highlight that we have a track. Track two is the main track for cybersecurity. And we have uh, six sessions in that. Notice we also have, I also have a safety one in there. This year, we talk about this workshop as cybersecurity and safety, so I included the safety session. But we have a couple on case studies, we have ones on different topics, you can read the descriptions and see what that is. Uh, okay, so that's all I wanted to say as an introduction. Again, welcome to everyone. Uh, now, what we do in this session, we're gonna have a session, it's called the State of Cybersecurity, Industrial Cybersecurity. We use that term industrial cybersecurity at ARC very broadly. We used to use ICS, but that's more focused within plants or within SCADA systems. This is much broader. We, the problem is much bigger today that industrial companies face, so that's why we call it that. And we're gonna talk about the state of industrial cybersecurity. Now, in the past, we used to have, uh, for years, we've had someone from DHS come and give us an update, and it's always been very entertaining. Marty Edwards used to be there, and Marty was here for several of those. Uh, but this year, I, I think, I assume because of the shutdown, they couldn't make a commitment to do that, so we won't be having that. But we still will be honored by having Doug Wally from SANS give a presentation on the state of cybersecurity. Uh, then I'll follow that up with what, the view of what's happening from ARC's perspective. And I'll be talking about market as well as some of the things we do with our user research. So uh, with no further ado, I guess is the way you say it. Doug, would you come on up? Doug's gonna speak first and then I'll follow up after Doug. <laughs> 